All right, here we are. We are we are in the last class, and this class is Warrior. So I'm going to go over the core set. Warrior did not lose that much in the core set. So they Warrior is one of those classes where they lost. The biggest impact is probably going to be Arcanite Reaper and Frothing Berserker, because those cards could go face. So losing those cards hurts because when Warrior was bad. And when I'm talking bad, I meant unplayably bad. I meant by far the worst class ever in arena bad. There was always that ability to just say, okay, I have no chance to win. So I am just going to throw all my stuff face and have uh, things to go face. Like that hunter had, that druid kind of had, that I'm going to miss by being by it being gone. So if you take a look at some of the cards I got, like War Cash replaces... Um, the one card, uh, Battle Rage. And it's it's a lot better than Battle Rage, right? War Song Outrider replaces Core Crown Elite. And it's a lot better independently than Core Crown Elite. Uh, there's nothing really to place Arcanite Reaper, but Warrior generally has a lot of weapons anyways, and especially with War Cash and with a lot of the minions that generate weapons, Warrior is going to be fine. And then also, uh, MSG was like really bad for Warrior. I, I want to remember... I actually forget what word it had in MSG. I want to say they had like something good. Uh, no, they had garbage in MSG. I was getting I was getting MSG and old gods kind of confused in my head. But yeah, MSG that a lot of stuff is garbage for warriors. So that's not a thing there. All right. So again, but as I've hyped up pretty much throughout everything, warrior by far has gotten the best uh, forged in the Baron set. So let's take a look at everything they have got. Whirling Commander. Combatant, uh, four minute, two, six, battle cry and frenzy deal one damage to all other minions. So ravaging ghoul on turn three was a three, three that dealt one damage to all other mini enemy minions. And that was like a mid to high nineties card. So that would be a five star card. This does it twice first when it goes off and then second, uh, when it gets hit and it's the frenzy is going to go off. So because and then it's a 2-6 body, which I would say on curve is better than a 3-3 body on 3. And because of the Battle Cry and the Frenzy effect, because you're damaging things, like it's really like dealing 3 damage to whatever attacks into it. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is a really busted card. This is, to me, a 6-star card. When you just take a look at what it can do, the impact, like being able to trigger your own Frenzy things, like if this lives and it's the Frenzy isn't triggered, you get to trigger your own stuff. This is obviously a really, really, really powerful card. Stone Maul Anchorman. Uh, four man, five mana, four, five, uh, Rush Frenzy Draw card. Rogue add a card that was the Bizarre Burglar, which was a five mana, three, five, get a card from your opponent's class, Battlecry. So this, the Frenzy needs to trigger, which it, because it has Rush, you can generally control it to trigger. You can generally play it to trigger. So... I mean, that's not really, so the triggering compared to a lot of Frenzy cards because of the rush, it's going to happen. So, and it's four or five rush, which means it can trick, uh, like, even if you have to play it to clear something that it's like a five, four, sometimes you have to do that, but you're still kind of fine doing that. So yeah, uh, this to me, it's a four star card just because of the value that you're going to get. Bulk up, give a random taunt minion in your hand, plus one, plus one and copy it. So. I mean, if you have a taunt min, you play this, it's two mana, draw a card, and it's two mana, draw a card, and you give both cards plus one, plus one. I mean, that's probably the worst card that Warrior got, like, among the regular cards. I mean, that's still decent. Like, like that's still, like, a two-star card by itself. Uh, two mana, draw a card, buff two cards. Yeah, that, yeah that's perfectly fine. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I think I actually might have overrated this because I'm thinking about it, and Hunter has something very similar. They have two mana, draw a card, draw a beast, and give it plus one, uh, plus two, plus two. So it doesn't rely on synergy there. Uh, what is that card? Scavenger's Ingenuity? Yeah. Draw a beast, give it plus two, plus two. So is this better than that? Okay, yeah. So yeah, I overrated this card, so I'm going to knock this down to a one-star card. I initially had it at two, I just didn't like think about it, but now that I'm thinking about it more, the fact that you need the taunt in your hand, like more taunt is definitely better, but the fact you're giving plus two, plus two, and drawing a card, yeah, this is easy. This is a one-star card for me, so I'm going to knock I'm gonna knock this down by about 10 points from what I had it. 
Okay. All right, next card. Outriders X. All right. Completely broken card. Like, I can't give it six stars it, in good conscience just because I know there are other cards that are going to do more than this. But four mana, three, three, after hero attacks and kills a minion, draw a card. So sometimes you're not going to be able to trigger this. Sometimes you're going to have other weapons that you want to play. But really, it's a, but really, if you draw one card out of this, that's a good card. And you're probably, and it's not that hard to kill things with your weapon. So you're probably going to be able to draw two things out of this, maybe draw three things out of this. And yes, that's easy five-star card. As I said, I think the uh, combatant is a little bit better for just like stopping any sort of aggro against you and setting up things. But yeah, easy five-star card. All right, four mana, Rancor. Deal two damage to all minions, gain two armor for each destroyed. So it's a volcanic potion, except for one mana more, but for <clears throat> but you gain health basically for this effect. So how good is this? Uh, I would say it is not as good as Volcanic Potion, but it is still a good card. Your Warrior, you want to play Control. This does well to play. Uh, this does well for playing Control. You can combo this with other things that deal damage. So I think uh, this is probably two star. Yeah, this is a two star card here. Conditioning. Give your minions in your hand plus one, plus one. Upgrades when you have five mana. So early game. This is mediocre. You don't want to play this before turn five. Turn five is usually about the point. Like here, turn three, oh, sorry, sorry. The rank three version here is, I'm going to say it's not that great. And the reason is, is usually by turn 10, you don't have the um, minions in hand to justify it. But turn five, turn six, turn seven, when you get to that point, then you're still going to have a hand. And you're going to have a hand where you can play this and buff your hand. So as I said, once you get to the late, because uh, it's kind of like weird with that, I don't think it's that great. I think it's a high two, low three card. I think this is one of those like mid-game blowout cards you play to try to just like take the board. Overlord Sourfang. Uh, uh, Sourfang. Seven mana, five, four, battle cry, resurrect two friendly frenzy minions, deal one damage to all other enemy minions. So ignore the frenzy stuff. Seven mana, five, four, deal one damage to all minions is okay. So resurrect two friendly frenzy minions means you need to have had friend need to have number one drafted frenzy minions, which may not happen, and number two they need to have died, which may not have happened. You have to have played them, and yet they have to have died. So uh, I don't know how much this is going to go off. I don't think this is going to go off all that much. I think it's only a one star card. Like yeah, the frenzy stuff looks really powerful but i'm not sure how much you're going to draft i'm not sure how much you're going to have and i'm not sure how well this is going to go off all right rakara rush after a friendly minion attacks and survives give it plus one plus one so remember if you have things on the board and these go face they get plus one plus one rakara herself uh she you're not going to play her unless she's going into like a small thing and you can play that, and you can get your plus one, plus one going into a small thing to clear it off. So this has snowball potential if you can protect it. Uh, and again, if you have a board, then this becomes extremely powerful because your board just kind of like buffs itself. So ultimately, three-star card, like maybe a high three-star card. I don't think it's broken, but I think it's definitely a good card. Warsong Envoy. Frenzy. Gain plus one attack for each damaged character. This includes heroes. So you have to trigger the frenzy effect. Now, your warrior, so you've got ways to do that. Uh, between the Warsong combatant, combatant, between things like Cruel Taskmaster, between things like the Og Merchants, Whirlwind, stuff like that, this effect is probably going to go off, which means early game, it's a 1-3, which you really don't want. But in the mid game, if you're getting like a 5-3 or 6-3 for one mana, that's actually pretty decent. So I would say... Like it's still one star card. Like it's not great. It's probably around the range of an average two drop just because of how unreliable the frenzy effect is, but there is power here. Okay. And last one here, more Sean Lee. Taunt, battle cry. If your hero attacked this turn, summon a copy of this. So if you play this, like remember here, you have a bulk up, right? So you can play bulk up. You bulk up your more Sean Lee. It's a 5-5. So now you've got two 
five mana five fives where all your hero has to do is attack which because you're warrior because you have weapons that's very easy condition to have and you're going to have like five mana 10 10 worth of stats that like that's potential uh if you do the core set or not the core set uh if you do msg stolen goods like maybe you want to take stolen goods maybe you want to go for that maybe i know a guy into this is something that is possible so and you can like you can go stolen goods into this and you get kind of like a baby carnival clown actually that's the best way to put it so attacking with this is a five mana for for sorry five mana for two four fours carnival clown is nine mana for three four fours which rarely uh, pretty rarely triggers the corrupt effect now the dark room dark moon rabbit doesn't have a bonus and that's like a top tier card and this right here is like a carnival clown for half the mana like that should really put it. i think i underrated this i think this is actually six stars like i had it as a five star card like i had it as a, a five star card but yeah i'm gonna buff this up i'm gonna say that this is a six star card just because like just because thinking about it in the lines of carnival clown for half the mana for a easy to trigger effect that's very similar yeah six stars all right so again as i said for warrior warrior is the one class that got like three stupidly powerful cards whirling combatant which people probably aren't thinking of but it's going to be really good outrider's axe which is going to be really good more shawn elite which because of like all the weapons you get is going to be really good you've got okay and you take a look at everything you got conditioning for blowout you've got bulk up which is mediocre but sometimes really good you got anchorman which draws cards uh you've got warsong envoy which is just fine by itself i mean older cards are pickable and playable and some of them are like rancor for healing and all of them are like a lot of them are just like incredibly powerful cards and remember remember what warrior has remember what warrior still has warrior has wrong set here oh, oh sword eater here warrior still has sword eater warrior still has feet of strength remember feet of strength plus the uh the morshan elite now you've got two nine nine taunts on turn five warrior still has troublemaker warrior still has reaper side warrior still has a steel dancer which is a good card by itself they have athletic studies information information because remember your uh, like all the random effects are gonna become better information has a higher chance to give you the um whatchamacallit the borshan elite do they have anything great from ashes of outland uh ashes of outland a lot, like they still have ganark they still have blade storm forget it they've still bone true raider that's gonna happen uh brute so warrior still has a ton of really powerful things and i think like i i really do think warrior is going to be the best card of uh, the best class once for once forged in the barons releases all right so that is the last class i'm not going to go do like a uh, class tier list or anything because macro adjusts are going to fix everything I do hope that for a brief period of time, they get rid of all the micro adjusts with how big the core set changes are. And we just get to see how powerful some of these classes are. But yeah, ultimately I am excited. I'm excited to see like all the garbage cards gone. I'm excited to see what is going to happen with arena, especially because I got a weekend coming up. I got like a four day weekend coming up so I can just like binge on arena once the set comes out. All right. So if you've gotten to the end point here, I want to thank you all for watching me. I want to thank you all. Please feel free on Reddit. Feel free on these videos. Leave any comments. Leave any thoughts that you have. And I will see you guys in the Barrens. So take care.